Hello sweeties, Nana Tazzy here. Oh, dropping things everywhere. All right. Okay, so it's the weekend technically, though the Mr. Works on Saturday, so I count it as a work day for me as well. I try to at least. By work day, I mean sit and paint and make projects. You know. <laughs> okay. I have finally rounded up some more of our calendars. Um, and I need to tear them apart and, you know, paint over all that mess. Um, let's see, this one was to keep track of my YouTube videos, but they're all neatly in a book now. And I have a new calendar on the wall for that. Although I went with something with giant squares to write in, I did not go for a pretty one. So I don't know if I'll be using this year's calendar or not. Okay, if pocket knives make you squeamish, don't look. And I'll try and hang back way back here. Oh, wait, wait. Duh. Oh my goodness, you'll have to forgive me today on account of... Um, I'm not able to sleep, so yeah, I've been pulling all-nighters, so I was up till 6 this morning. Um, and yeah, I haven't really woken up yet, even though it's uh, later in the day again. Well, okay, it's not. It's What is it? What is it, actually? Oh, it's almost lunchtime. It's almost 12. Middle of the day. Okay, there we go. Oh, my knife is magnetized again. I gotta quit doing that. Of course, I don't know how I keep doing it, but I do. <laughs> it does not help get staples off of your knife. You didn't want to go out five minutes ago, but now that I'm doing video, you need to go outside very badly. Alright, you guys, I'll be right back. Okay. She is so funny, that old lady. She's so beautiful. She's... What is she? She's, um... Part Australian Shepherd, part something or other, and part wolf. And yet she's just gorgeous. Okay, what I need to do before I start painting any of these is work out if I can use any of this imagery in my abandoned books. Man, I am so off center today. I don't know. And I'm all over the place. Okay. Oh. Actually, this one I should probably have sat down and written down all the um, sayings and, and quotes in it. <sighs> oh, look at the bears and the fish. That might need to go somewhere. Oh, oh my lord, look at that. No, no, no. So the sea spray, sea spray, salt water has frozen over the lighthouse. That's insane. Nature is painting for us, day after day, pictures of infinite beauty. John Ruskin. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, what do we got? Oh, that's lovely too. Okay. I apologize if you can hear the kids all uh, griping at each other up and down the street. See, that's epic. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Amen. Remember that what you now have... Man, my brain today. Remember that what you now have was once among the things you only hoped for. 
Epicurus. That is so true, right? I love images where you can't quite see past this and yeah, just adding weird things at the end. Love it. Speaking of, <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, I have not played in my abandoned book but once since um, doing that alien picture, the alien flowers out of the orchids, which still isn't, that page still isn't finished, but I've had an idea since then. Um, oh, save these. Always save the little background pictures. You can turn those into other things, okay? That's a separate project, though. See here, that one's on the cover, so may, and it's really thin. I like to get the VFW calendars. Yeah. Because I love that. They're amazing and awesome and way cooler than any of us will ever be. Ever. Okay, and these I believe are just holidays, yes? Oh. Campaign medals, military service that gives them qualifying dates. Oh, that's good to know. I'm pretty sure I've seen that before, but um, I didn't recall. Um, I might use those, I might not, I don't know yet. I just need some stuff to make envelopes out of, and happy mail stuff. And I need to learn how to make Shelly's... Oh, how cute is that? Oh look, chicken! <laughs> Squirrel! Ah, focus, good lord. No, I need to make, learn how to make Shelly's um, waterfall envelopes that you can stuff for Happy Mails because that is just adorable. And since Lady Woolfield sent me one that she's made, yeah, I definitely have to make some. They're so much fun. And lo and behold, there be extra calendars. Okay, now this is one one of my friends brought me. Um, no, it wasn't. This is one I got at the Goodwill. Huh. I thought this is one my buddy brought me. No, maybe he did. Maybe he brought me this one. His dad uh, had extras or something. Okay, this magnetized staple thing is getting ridiculous. That's why I can't wear a watch also. Yeah, there's a ton of epic images on the back in really good sizes. Look at this dog. Oh my gosh, he's having a good time. You run, buddy. But yeah, this is um, the Colonial Williamsburg Foundation, but the whole town, they're all in period stuff and they just go about their day as they would have a couple hundred years ago. Now, this cover, I'll keep that for these little images, and this cover, it's not necessarily that outstanding but I will keep it because this will make better backgrounds for hidden paper clips or whatever so we'll keep that over there it's fun to do the whole period costume thing once in a while and actually live as essentially our ancestors would have did that once for a school camp um, out by Ballarat in Victoria, Australia. Um, you go up to the Eureka Stockades, it was a big gold rush town. But they do school camps up there and you, you dress up in like period stuff like this. And uh, you know the kids go to school and there's an old lolly shop and, and um, Nine pin ball. Was it nine pin bowling? It was nine pin. But yeah, it just it was a lot of fun. Oh my god, look how gorgeous that is. Oh, it's so 
beautiful. Let's just take a moment and be somewhere warm without wind, too terrible. Well, okay, it is kind of windy. It is a little windy, not terrible though. Hmm. I'm not sure why they've got this out here. It almost reminds me of the jelly nets that we have to put up back home. Uh, we have jellyfish season. Ironically, when it's warm enough to go in the water, like really good, uh, the jellyfish come out. So I've got little um, little floaty pool netting crap around the edge of the uh, safe space that you can swim in where you're less likely to get stung. Always made me laugh. Always, always. Because it's like a fish pond for people. <laughs> I was in the middle of telling you something you're about to and forgot what the hell I was talking about. <sighs> I don't know. Look at that. Freaking majestic. Well, wow, I'm so far out of camera today. I tried a new thing, but the camera's being a turd. Actually, it has. It's put itself back this side. Huh. Well, we're just going to have to roll with it. In all honesty, um, I probably need a different thing to hang it off than the selfie stick. Because it's not made to hold this size camera. <laughs> like, at all. And I've got it lashed at the... Um, I've got one of those double hook plant hangers in the wall. So I've just lashed it to that since that was already there and it's really stout. And hung my light off of it as well. See, you don't have to have all the fancy fancy, you don't. Work with what you got or whip something up for the now. Oh my gosh, I miss the beach so bad. that says where that is. It's in the Philippines. I've not been to the Philippines. God, it's gorgeous though with the flowers. Yes, 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 yes. Oh crap, I need a palm tree. Oh my god, you guys. Okay, we're gonna... <laughs> okay, slight segue. I'm sorry, but I have a plan. I j oh my god, can I live there? I know it's a resort, but we can take like the rest of these and all my crafty peeps can live in those or something. And I'll live in this one. And um, I'm sure there's a, a great big something in the middle and we'll do massive craft projects together and just hang out. How cool would that be? I think I need this palm tree here. Let's see. No. Oh, wait, wait. All right, getting off track here. See, look, ah, oh, crap, I had it. Bougainvillea, Bougainvillea. How do you say that, Bougainvillea? I don't know, these flowers here, a lot of the time have thorns on them. So if you go running through them, they'll just slice the crap out of you. Ask me how I know. <laughs> Oh my god, there's my deserted island. Yup, yup. Jeez, that's pretty. I might need this to... Okay, okay, save that. That one I shouldn't need. That one I shouldn't need. That one's gorgeous. Oh, I 
Mike could use that. I don't know. Mike could use. Have you noticed I started saying this? Mike could use. This one, I think, is the one I need. That's the one that struck me. Um, that rang that little bell there. Hmm. All right, hang on. Let me get the rest of these cut up, and I will drag out the book. I'm sure you guys are sick of seeing that abandoned places book by now. But this is what it's turned into. Everything else I do is like, can I use that for, for my abandoned places? <gasps> oh, my Lord, yes. Oh. Oh. Is that in Bora Bora? Right. Maldives, Asia. Huh. Okay. Okay. Well, I would have guessed Bora Bora, although the huts are a different shape. Yeah, I might need more. Well. Okay, so apparently I can't use the beach ones yet. Good to know. That's pretty too. Okay, so that's the cover and the back. Okay, so we'll keep those separate because we can send somebody a little bit of sunshine. Mm -hmm. And I might could use that. All right. Yeah, all right. Okay, before I get to that one, um, I should probably just walk around, but I'm not going to. Oh, that's right, it's open. Hang on. Oh! I did black out a page or two in the rest one. Mm. Okay. I've been really good though. I've tried to take somewhat of a break so my brain's had time to um, put little nuggets of information together, which helps when I come across images, you know? <clears throat> and I did sit down and do. Um, all right, hang on. There we go. All right. So this I might could use somewhere. So I'll stick that in here. And the page I'm actually looking for. I'm not going to get all up in this. See, that was the last one we did. It's not finished. I have been running through and adding images in. And then any time I have a, an idea, I kind of jot it down and stick it in here. And that's not necessarily the way it's going to go. That's just what I saw at the time. And I sat down and went through the book and did several of them. You know. I can hear Dee Dee's voice when I do that. When, when you have an idea and you hear Dee Dee in the back of your head going, write it down. <laughs> it's like, yes, yes, write it down. Okay, I am looking for none of those. Is it really? Oh, I would have thought. No, maybe it's back here. Oh, my goodness. Um, no, 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 no. And one of the videos I do this weekend will be playing in this to set it up. Um, no. Um, do you know start tacking these images down with just a little bit of glue stick? Um, until I can get some matte medium. Okay, that one we did. I love that. I have so much work to do on that still. But I'm not worried about it. Oh! Snap! Okay, I just had an idea for that. Now that was the idea I had before for that. Okay, yep, yep, yep. No, we're good, we're good. Um, nope, nope, nope. Okay, try not to give too much away with what I've got stuffed in these. But I can't find the page I need either. Oh my god. Come on. Because I need to know which images I can paint today. Seriously, where is it? Can 
None of those for the military. There's Chernobyl. This is a uh, town in France. Alright, still got to work on that. No, no, that's not it. That's not it. Oh, oh my god, now I have salt and pepper in my head. <laughs> oh no. Oh, there's worse things, I guess. Worse things. Oh, and I was thinking about this little dog here. Um, he was just wandering about in um, Fukushima all by himself. He does have a collar on and he's excessively well fed. This tells me that this is the photographer's dog who's out on location in the field with his owner. Which A, makes sense to me as far as observational skills go, and B, I'm really, really hoping that's the case. Because, oh man. Okay, there is a room with a painting of palm trees and a deer on the... There, there, thank you. Oh... Yep, yep, see there's there's deer drinking at this lake here, but there's palm trees, which I don't understand, but whatever. We're going with it. I needed a palm tree to come from somewhere. Oh, right, I was going to put one here and possibly one up here somewhere. So, um, possibly, hmm. Possibly, possibly, possibly. That one, maybe, possibly something. We'll just extend the. Um... Okay, I'm not going to tell you the plan. Okay, so that one I need. Yes, check. Check. One, two. Oh, I like that too. Maybe that. Maybe that down the bottom there or something. Alright. But I need the big old bougainvillea. Mm. Oh my god. <sighs> Don't overthink it. Just go with it. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh my god, there's Bougainvillea right there, which means we do need that one. Alright. Wow, that was redonkulous. Okay. We got there, though. Yay, we did it. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious me. And this bow is screaming to me for one of the blue pages we've got there. Alright, so put that back there. And I have calendar pages for it. Don't want to give away too many fun plans here. On account, I don't want you to get bored. Although the response to the real-time video um, seems to have gone excessively well. See, we've got blue everywhere, and then we've got some red, and the, the rusty red, and yeah. Oh my god, yes. That'll be upside down. Hmm. Something. Something fun. We need something fun here. Okay. Okay. But yeah, that was screaming at me for this page. I don't know where we'll put it yet, but we will. Okay. Now, get back to the project at hand. My goodness. Okay, so I'm going to save the tropical ones just in case I need more of those. And they're going to fall down. Really? Not there. Not oh, June. That would have made sense, huh? Okay, now these calendars are the. I call them the fabric 
plastic. It's definitely a fiber in the um, paper, or at least it's um, pressed or stamped or fused or something to, to feel like that. But it feels very plasticky as well. But I like to send these as envelopes for Happy Mail because they are heavy duty and by the time they get to their destination, um, they can still be cut up most of the time and used for whatever. Speaking of, I have a massive collection of Happy Mail I've got in and I need to put it all together and make something fabulous. Okay, let me get rid of these staples so I don't lean on one later because I've been known to do that and it's not a good day. <coughs> Excuse me. I've lost my coffee again. Come on, let's go this way. Oh, I love sunflowers. And this was the uh, images. Oh, I don't know if you can see. It's very glary today. So beautiful. Okay, so we'll save those in their own pile as well. All the end pictures. What would you call those, the, the smaller? I'm sure they have a name, a title, something. Because that's what humans feel the need to do, is label everything. Little birds, aren't they beautiful? Susan Wing Winget? Winget. I like Winget, but I'm not sure how you say that. But she's the artist that has done these gorgeous, gorgeous paintings. Gorgeous artwork that um yeah, we're just gonna send to everybody. So we're gonna paint the inside where I've scribbled where I had it attached to my wall and share the love, which I find to be an epic thing to do to recycle, upcycle, whatever. Because who wants to throw out such a pretty calendar? And that's the thing about calendars, they have a lifespan, usually. Look at that though. Welcome. So beautiful. Oh, and the pie. Wait. Oh, now I've got them all out of, out of order. There's one with a pie. Oh, there it is. Hello. It has an apple pie. I like this too. That's, I thought that was great as far as um, food for thought, learn how to do kind of a thing. Which I need to make a book of uh, for reference stuff. So that will be a whole other project. No, look how cute those are with the geraniums. That is cute. She has beautiful artwork. All right, friends, I think we're about ready to begin. Oh, that's what I was going to tell you. Yeah, it's Saturday, so so many projects. Oh, those kids. <sighs> so many projects I've planned for the weekend, for the art stuff anyway. Okay, I'm still trying to get rid of the last of these, what are they? Just says permanent acrylic paint, 24 color value pack. We got these at Walmart. And they, they don't really run out. They, they last forever. Okay, my stuff's all messed up, and I don't even care about it right now. Oh, that's right, they smell so bad. Oh! Thankfully, when they dry, it doesn't matter. And they're thin, I remember now, too. Okay. You know what? I think we'll use these as top layers, then. I will come back and do top layers.
Ugh. All right. I did finally splurge and got the big bottle of the Apple Barrel in three colors I use most. These are like two... I think it was two dollars and seventeen cents or something at the Walmart. And normally I'm like, oh, I can't justify that. Well, it turns out I can, because that's six dollars, and these paints go a long way, generally. So, and I've never had a big bottle of one before, so it's exciting. Because, you know, I'm a big spender on my paint. <laughs> I love my paints. I blow through them, though. Okay, that's, that's going to be a thing. Hang on a minute. Okay, I've took my time today because um, I have not charged my phone. My phone. I haven't charged the camera in some time because I got used to having it plugged in, but I knew I'd be moving back and forth a lot today, so I didn't want to get hung up in the court, which I hang over my head into the fairy lights on the wall behind me. Really? Oh my god. And I just heard the word patience. Thank you. I've got it now. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Okay. Alright. Also, Sploge and got some baby wipes. And I have not tried these ones before, so we'll see how well they do. I got a three pack of them for. I think it was two bucks but um there's also a six pack in this variety but I didn't I didn't want to get six packages of them at 48 wipes per pack if they were crud you know again okay Ooh, it's not that I'm in a rush, it's just that I feel bad I wasted time dicking around in the um, abandoned places book for a second there. But honestly, that's how it goes. You come across stuff and it's like, oh, yep, that one page. Then you have to find that one page to be sure. Oh, shiny, she's so beautiful. All right, let us do some painting, finally, shall we? All right. Yeah, I'll stick that there. I can put pages on top of it if I need to. Okay. Now, these are not going to be master works, master artworks. We're just putting color down. We're going to go round and round and round and round with different colors. Okay. Go oh, off. Oh. And this one doesn't have any scathing information on it, so I'm not too terribly worried about it either. busy week that week huh oh that was big blue yeah need to get back to big blue poor things probably feeling quite abandoned I was waiting on um, a big bottle of glue and I have that now so I can continue with big blue Although, I might make that my summer project, honestly. 
Wow, that one's just going to curl. That's terrible. <clears throat> I'm going to have to find some coffee or some such here in a minute. Now what I tend to do is some of these I will make into envelopes ready to go and some I will just leave because I don't well I didn't need to paint that I guess I don't know exactly what size I uh, want to make them or if there's something other I want to do with them so some of them I will in fact just leave um, like this with, with just the painty backgrounds you could tell towards the end of the year I really started to um, get a lot more serious about making videos. Because, <laughs> yeah, I did a bunch of them. But I think I'm up to 155 or something now. Videos. That's fun. And I'm still plotting and scheming and planning a giveaway, but... Um, There's something very special I need to do before that's ready to go. The only thing holding me up between making said project and adding to said project is, um, let's switch to pink because I'm getting bored. Huh? Because I get bored. I don't know. when I want to do a giveaway for all my subbies. You know? Wow, that one smells really, really bad. Whoo! I don't recall the little one smelling that bad. That one does. Like, all up in the face. Mmm. Good lord. <coughs> Stinky. Oh my. Mm. I guess we didn't need to paint that either, but it's painted now. Oh, I see. It was one of those funky pages. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, as far as um, how many subbies I want to have, you know. I might just do a random one that doesn't need a number. I'm going to leave this one as is, I think. Yep. Yes, I am. Okay. Such pretty flowers. Uh, I guess... I guess I just want to do something different, something I haven't seen anybody do yet, but I don't have an exact plan of what that's going to be. You know, I just thought about it, none of these colors will go with this calendar on any level whatsoever. Whatever, we're going to continue. space here in a minute so yeah I'm gonna have to uh, go make some coffee or something probably <clears throat> I might get a couple rounds out let's see And technically, I don't need to um, paint any of these at all, really. I've just numbered the weeks here for a different project I was working on. I 
But this way, if I'm very, very tired, I will automatically know when I put the envelopes together which side is the inside. <laughs> I know it sounds so basic, but honestly, when your head hurts a lot all the time and you're very tired, little things like that can actually be very helpful. those down. No idea. Oh, this might have been the beginning. Oh, those were for blog posts, I betcha. Back when. No, it almost looks like a prompt list, doesn't it? Oh, I think it is actually. Oh, it is. It's for um, a Facebook group for art journal prompts. But I'm not very good at art journal prompts. Turns out I'm better at just winging it and being intuitive and going with the flow. But I tried it for a little bit. I didn't get very far. I just realized I'm not likely to be in frame on account of I've got this thing sitting here. Okay. And yes, I am in fact stacking wet papers on top of not quite dry papers. It's what I do. But I'm going to stop at this calendar because this one's got heavy, heavy pages. And they're, they're way bigger. Um, so yeah, I'll get all of these ones dried and collected. And then um, I'll paint these ones. And then I'll probably come back. Um... Also this weekend, I'm hoping to get either some t-shirts painted or some tea towels painted and sit down and start gluing, uh, just glue sticking some, some um, collage. It's time to be brave and add like way more collage to the abandoned books places, you know, for the reverse collage. So yeah. All right, I will see you in a second. Okay. Alright, so I came back and did another layer on the small ones here. And I was debating whether or not I should um, break out the stencils and whatnot. And usually I would. But honestly, these are just going to be the inside, right? And I like to leave plenty of options for anybody who gets these that they can, you know undo the envelopes or cut them up and use them for something else and then they can add their own art on top of these as backgrounds right okay I think we're yeah okay I may just do the big ones you get the idea of what I'm doing so I may just do the big ones off camera in order to save a little bit of time but what I definitely want to do is something I love to do to just painting papers anyway um, let's see not that will work I like to take a gold paint um, this one's the folk art metallic pure gold I grabbed it because it is in fact open wait wait I have another one open 
What's that one? Royal gold. Let's use both. But what I want to do, um, yeah, that'll work. I'm just putting a wee bit on my finger. That's probably a whole bunch, actually. I apologize for the light. It is clouded over and so let's make two piles so I can, uh, let's see where we are here. That should work. Um, I like to just throw it down. Actually, let me do that. That's a lot right there. Okay, so let me make four piles then. Just chuck it on with your finger. You could use a paintbrush if you wanted to. But what I'm going to do is just rub it everywhere. And wherever it lands is perfect. Okay? And it's just enough to add, you know, just some shimmer. Shimmer! What I need to do is probably uh, water some of my metallics down slightly so I can um, spray them and do shimmer that way too. Oh, that's a lot right there. Look at that. My goodness. Okay. Actually, we'll come in with the other color as well. All right, I'm going to have to go kind of sideways here. Okay, this one is royal gold. Can you see the, the difference? Well, let me get that thinned out. Hang on. La, 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 la. I apologize. I don't know where my head is at today. Oh, the lighting's not going to cooperate I think but the uh, rose or the royal gold's darker than the um, pure gold okay let me see that one will go there and these dry relatively quickly right, wait 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 let me separate these here let me do that yeah I'm going to have to get some kind of order going here that's ridiculous sometimes I do like to throw in I call it bronze, but they call it, what do they call that? Um, so I need a new one, that, that's pretty much done. I can water it down and shake the crap out of it though. I don't even know what color, oh that came in a box set, hang on. Mm, yeah, I have no idea what color that's actually called. Do I not have a big one? Yes, I do have a big one. Uh, brown red, they call it. It's to me, it's copper, and that's pretty much empty as well. I've kept that though. I think there's enough in there to water these down. In um, I should play with that later. I should. Okay, focus, focus. Okay, and then come back to this one. And do this here. And they don't have to be all wait, where are we at here? They don't have to be all the same direction. You can go wherever. There's no rules for painty calendars, honestly. Wouldn't that suck if there were rules for how to paint calendars? I don't think so. when you really really thin it out All right let's see if I can get that going some more yeah it just does that shimmer thing of course sunshine that's hilarious but it's really really fine so head on you know there's something there but until you tip it, it you don't see all the gold so much which is fine with me Okay, I'm pulling that one done as well. Let's come back to this one. I should probably close the lids as we're going. Oh. 
You'll have to excuse me also, I just got some happy mail that made me bawl. And I will be doing a video on that as soon as I can do it without bawling. Because, <laughs> oh, I'll wait till you see you guys. Just, yeah. Yeah. There is something about when somebody takes the time to make art and send it to you that just and this is phenomenal I, I absolutely the mister was here on, on lunch break when that came in and yeah he thought that was really cool and I haven't even dug through it yet um, save to get the, um, the the note from the top of it and yeah, yeah, he thought that was pretty choice. So I'm trying to get this project done. And actually I'm going to have to do, all these videos are going to be out of sequence anyway, I think. So you'll probably see um, that particular Happy Mail um, video before you see this one but yeah I've got dust berries amazing amazing happy mail so by the time these all go up they'll be um, uh, over the next week or so I think I got behind somewhere I th oh no that's right I, I had a snafu when, <laughs> when I was uploading um, I had two videos go up on the same day because I'd scheduled them wrong. But yeah, I was like, why am I getting comments on that? And then I went and checked in the video manager and went, oh my god, really? So yeah, I think I'm getting more on me than the paper now. That's okay. It's fun. Just thin down any of the thicker spots. And yeah, I'm actually... Um, I really think I want to keep these reasonably plain. I was going to do layers and layers and make them all like painty, like proper. But on seeing them currently, I think I want to leave them plain so whoever gets them can um, do whatever they want with it. You know, not like it they, they wouldn't be doing whatever they want with it anyway. You can't do that. Like I would ever tell you that, that you can't do that. Okay, I do want some thicker because I still have, oh, that's, that's going to be amazing. Okay, move these, move these, move these, there we go. Oh, be a little bit gentle, my goodness, I'm manhandling all the calendars, good lord. Calm down. Actually, I'm excited. I, I told myself <laughs> if I got through the weekend's projects, then I could play in my abandoned places book. So I'm, <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, I can do that. How ridiculous is that? I've got a project that's become in a uh, some type of reward. Is that not weird? I don't know. Addiction is as addiction does, my friends. Okay, let me... Oh, hang on. I've got some on my thumb somewhere. I don't want to waste it on the bottle. Goodness. It's all right. It doesn't help when I cover what I'm doing with my hand, does it? always do that. I'm sorry, you guys. You know me, I'm just in the moment flinging paint. I love it. Love it. And we could still come back after a bit and, um, you know, add some stenciled stuff or stamping or something. I don't know. I'm really torn. My problem with doing, um, like full-on painty papers on these if I'm planning on using them as as envelopes. Um, I don't want to make them so built up and thick, which I'm notorious for doing with, with painty papers. 
mean, my, my painting papers are redonkulous. Because there's so many layers. Which is the point, you know. Oh, wow, I did not need to do that over the candle. What we should do is make, like, gold shimmery... Come here. Ah. Gold shimmery things like this. Look. Yay! Be the light. Be the light. Shine on, you crazy diamond. But yeah, I don't, I don't want to make them so thick that I can't bend and fold them as they need to be. You know, this almost seems excessively wasteful, but it's very, very thin, and at the same time it would have got stuck in a paintbrush anyway. So, whatever. See, the fun part's when you end up in town and you're covered in gold paint and people just look at you, but nobody asks what you've been doing. <laughs> I love that. I love to make people wonder. On account of... We got told to stop doing that. It's okay when you're a wee child and it's fine, it's acceptable and it's encouraged. All that wonderment and asking why and, and figuring things out. But, you know, it kind of gets knocked out of you as you get older and it's like, well, you're too old for that. And it's like, no. That's where society's gone horribly wrong. You're never too old. You should always ask why. You should always be learning something new. Honestly. That's our purpose on this planet. To be learning. Constantly learning. And it should be as fun as possible, right? Okay, I think that's the two. No, this is... Oh. Where I start getting mixed up and which which gold I'm using. Again, it doesn't matter. Don't sweat the petty things. Pet the sweaty things. <laughs> no, no, okay. Just me then? Alright, random party of one. I'm beside myself, you guys. I just don't even I don't even know. Got me in the feels today. Got me all up in the feels. Oh, that and the mister read a story to me that um, he'd come across online. Um, some guy had adopted a cow. I love cows, you guys. Like, I love them. He adopted this cow that was blind in one eye and almost blind in the other. And the... There was a vet somewhere across the country that, that said she might be able to fix it or whatever. Um, but, you know, you'd have to bring the cow to her. So, <laughs> he and his new cow went on a road trip everywhere. Um, all across the country and they stopped into touristy things. Um, and the vet wasn't able to save the, the cow's eyesight. But it did get to go on an epic road trip adventure with, with this guy. And, and it's, you know, it's his pet cow. And it was rescued. How beautiful is that? Like, I had happy tears. I'm... <laughs> uh, I don't even know. Don't even know. Everything makes me cry anymore. And I don't understand. Because that's really not... Really not my jam. And when there is actual Christ, oh, 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 look, go. When there is an actual crisis or some such, you know, there's no time for crying. You jump in and you do. But yeah, all the in the field stuff, all the just sweet, beautiful stories, just, I bawl. There we go. Or something. Oh, see, and now I'm thinking I, I do need a little, little stenciling or some such. I don't know. 
I think what I am going to do, for these ones at least, um, is let these dry. Um, see, they're thinner than, than my big heavy duty ones. I think I might use these um, and learn how to do the waterfall um, the, the waterfall stuffed envelope Happy Mail things with these. I know you have to square them up outside of... Oh, wow. Okay, somebody... I don't want to freak you out, but I am not alone just now. Somebody is standing right beside me and smells like rose water. Yes, I don't know who it is yet, but hello, welcome. Yeah, definitely rose water, it's lovely. Hmm. Okay, um... I'm going to uh, finish this video here, I think, or stop it here, and I'll probably come back and um, figure out what I'm doing with the um, the, the waterfall paper clips. Paper clips. Oh my lord! Sorry, that's throwing me completely off my game. Um, the waterfall envelopes to stuff for Happy Mail. Um, so yeah, I, I will let all these set and I'll be back with this part or the next part of the project um, when I get that far. But it probably won't be, filming off probably won't be until Tuesday or Wednesday. Oh, that's so pretty. Gold! Which normally I'm not a fan of, but I love gold paint. I can't help myself. Okay, I am going to go and visit with whomever is standing right beside me. I don't want to wig you guys out. I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> um, weird like that. But the more energy work and light work type stuff that I do and plug into the universe, the, uh, the more these things are happening. So... I'm going to roll with it because I fought it for years and years and apparently that's not what I should have been doing. So, yeah, I will come back. That's oh, rose water, I swear. It's lovely. I will see you guys in the next step of this project. If I need to, depending on time so far, I will make it a part two, okay? But yeah. Painted calendars, which you guys know I love to do. I will see you in the next chunk. Love you for now. Bye-bye.